Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Teotronics. This is their long-range Bluetooth 5.0 transmitter and receiver unit. You can pick it up on Amazon at the time of this review for $59.99 with a $15 off coupon. It makes it $45. You'll have that link in the description below where you can check it out. You can transmit, you can receive with this, and it is long range. It will do up to 150 or 160 feet or 50 meters of transmission distance. Let's break this down, get into it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes in the box with uh, the uh, transmitter and receiver. Obviously, you're going to have your main unit here, and it is a uh, pretty low profile, which is actually great, especially if you're going to use this for a home theater or something like that. You've got all of your indicators that will light up uh, with your selected options here on the top of the unit, and you've got those flush uh, push buttons. On the right hand side you've got a switch that will allow you to change from receiving mode to bypass in the middle or transmitting mode. Uh, bypass is so that you can take like an optical uh, to uh, RCA signal, um, you know that type of thing if you want to connect two different uh, signals you can use the bypass mode there and it is the middle in the switch. Uh, so that's pretty cool, easy to just switch it on the side. Uh, it does have a battery in it too, which is really cool. You're gonna get, um, you're gonna get about 15 to 17 hours uh, on uh, transmit mode and on receive mode, you're gonna get uh, 20 to 25 hours. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You do have a micro USB connector here uh, to recharge the battery. Now the battery takes about two and a half hours to recharge. And again, you're gonna get anywhere from 15 to 20 to 23 or 24 hours, depending on what mode you're running in. So uh, you've got that right there. Now you can plug this in to charge charge it, uh, either any laptop USB or just a charger like I just showed you that is uh, going to be for uh, you know your phone's charger or your tablet's charger. Now once you turn this on, you're going to see that the transmit button, since we're in transmit mode, is blinking. That means it's in pairing mode and you can change that uh, with uh, the button here uh, on the side. So you can either go to receive or transmit uh, on the side and now you have a, a way to change your input. Uh, from optical or uh, auxiliary by just uh, tapping the button on the front. And of course on the back you're going to have uh, 3.5 transmit uh, auxiliary and uh, uh, receive auxiliary and then you're going to also have optical uh, as well for receive and transmit. Uh, so this unit will handle optical if you want to do higher end uh, audio through this. And they also give you a cable uh, for older RCA cables to 3.5 millimeter as well. Uh, so you've got pretty much every cable in the box that you can think of that you'll need. You may need a few others, but you probably already have them hooked up to whatever system that you have. It's got a nice antenna on the back for that long range. And they also give you a user guide. I'm not going to go over over that too much, but it's from Teotronics. If you want to check them out, you can check them out at www.teotronics.com uh, forward slash warranty. That'll give you a 18-month warranty on your product, so you're going to want to check that out as well. Uh, so let's get back to the box itself. Okay, so let's uh, put this in transmit mode. What I want to do is I want to take my Nintendo Switch and I want to transmit it to this speaker that I have over here. It's a Bluetooth speaker, uh, but f it also has a 3.5 millimeter uh, aux cable in it, so I'll be able to do that as well. Um, and we can transmit to this speaker so that you can have, uh, you know, say uh, other headphones for your Switch or you can have something else. And I'm just using the Switch because it's easy to uh, use. It's a smaller device and I can have this on the screen here uh, without running too many wires everywhere. Uh, so what we're going to want to do first to transmit the audio from the switch to the speaker, um, and this will give you a range of up to 150 feet, so you can do this uh, and you don't have to be tethered to the speaker. You can do this across the room or something like that. Uh, this is, you're going to want to make sure that it's in transmit mode. You can see that it's blinking, uh, so it's ready to be uh, paired up or connected 
Uh, that is what the blinking icon means on this particular unit. Uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to take an aux cable. Uh, since the switch doesn't really have Bluetooth other than for the Joy-Cons, uh, we can't really hook anything but a set of headphones up to it. Uh, but if I want to uh, be sitting on my couch with this next to me, but hearing it out of the speakers near my TV, I can use this device uh, to transmit to those if I want to. So easy enough. Uh, let's plug this into the switch and you're going to see that now we're in headphone mode here uh, on the switch and then we plug it into the um, back of the box here in a transmit aux port so that means we're going to be in transmit mode uh, we are in transmit mode and uh, that says optical we need to switch that over to auxiliary uh, and then we're set on this particular side for the switch now to set up the bluetooth speaker it's relatively easy all we have to do is power on the Bluetooth speaker itself by holding down the power button. And this is already in transmit mode and it's ready to be paired because it's flashing. So this should automatically pick up this speaker. You'll see here that it's blinking on the speaker. And in a second here, it should just sync up. And it does. And now I have music coming out of my switch uh, going into the receiver or transmitter and coming out of my uh, speaker here and we can make sure that we've got the volume up so that you guys can hear it a little bit more. It's just the menu of Diablo 3 uh, but you can hear that it comes out pretty pretty well here. So that's how you do a transmit and th th these are not the you know obviously I can have a second device you'll notice on the right hand side there's A and B on the unit so that means I can uh, set up Bluetooth headphones as well which would be more of something that you would use with the switch but this is just to show you an example of transmit mode now receive mode is going to work uh, pretty much the same way except for what we are going to do is make sure that we are on receive mode on the transmitter itself and you'll see that I am and then we're going to hook up a uh, aux cable from receive mode on the back or RX aux so we want to make sure that we're in the right spot there for that and then we'll plug into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or auxiliary jack on the speaker itself uh, and make sure that we are in RX mode we're in aux on the unit and then we can take something like my phone and we can transmit my phone's audio because that has Bluetooth to the speaker. So this is so if you want to hook up something that doesn't have Bluetooth, say you have a home theater system, you want to hook up uh, speakers that don't have Bluetooth or something like that, you can easily just go down into your Bluetooth settings. Uh, you can look for it. It'll come up as Teotronics. TT-BA014. Uh, so it's connected for media audio and ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll play some music and you guys can hear uh, that we're set up uh, and we're transmitting from the phone to the unit uh, and then the sound will come out of the speakers. So now you can see that the phone is transmitting through the transmitter, coming out of the speakers here, uh, much better than your built-in phone speakers. So overall, uh, you can transmit that way and it works really, really well uh, both ways. Now, a cool thing to note about this is it is long range. I was able to get uh, well over 100 feet uh, through walls, downstairs. So if you want to have that A and B set up here where you have multiple speakers set up for surround sound, or you can have a speaker set up upstairs and one downstairs and be able to play music through those uh, both. So say you're doing something upstairs and you want to continue to listen to your music on another speaker, you can do that uh, and it'll still be playing downstairs as well. Uh, nice low profile for you home theater users as well and a solid price point overall. So that's my review of the Teotronics Bluetooth 5.0 along 
range transmitter and receiver that you can pick up on Amazon. Again, as I said, the link will be in the description below. I like this device. Uh, it does both transmit and receive very well uh, with a built-in bypass mode. Allows you to combine certain signals like optical and RCA or optical and aux signals. Uh, this is a, a solidly built unit with a low profile that will not take up a lot of space in your setup. Uh, so being able to transmit to two different devices devices at the same time, two sets of headphones, say two of you wanted to watch TV via Bluetooth headsets, you could definitely do that as well. Overall, I think Teotronics did a great job on this product. Uh, and for $45, it's something that has so many uses uh, via the transmit and receive uh, that you could use this for that I think it's uh, really worth the price in my book. There's not many cons that I found to this. The built-in battery lasts up to 24 hours depending on what mode you're in. And uh, overall, it just performed great in everything that I tested it on. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this device, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.